In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an anchor for your trampoline. I just got this trampoline for my children, but I want to make sure I anchor it to the ground. That way, during a big windstorm, the wind doesn't pick it up like a sail and take it to my neighbor's house. So here's what I got. I got this from Home Depot. This cost seven bucks. I got a piece of chain, stainless steel chain, which costs $2.50, and then a quick link, and this was about six bucks, so all in, 15, 16 dollars total. And I'm gonna put it right here on the trampoline. The reason why I chose this spot is so when I need to mow, I can just rotate the trampoline, mow where it's at, where it was, and then rotate it back and mow, finish the rest of the lawn. So I don't have to worry about fidgeting with taking it apart, putting it back together, all on. Uh, but this, I, I also want to bury this in the ground, I, including the head. This is designed to go to about right here in the ground, but I'm going to show you why we're going to bury it. I think you're going to like it. Let's get going. I'm going to take this part off because I want to bury this whole thing in the ground and then just have a little bit of chain being at ground level like this. That way I could pull it out and then mow and it's not gonna hit the lawn mower blade when I mow. So I need to get this part off. Just gonna use this. Pull it up a little bit. through right there. Okay, now that's through. We can just bend this, pull this part off. Okay. So now we have the part that we want to bury. Let's tag on here. All right, we're going to bury it right here. And we're gonna twist this into the ground, but I want this to be, like I said, level with the ground. So we're gonna to to cut out a little bit of the ground so I have a shovel for that. Let's also take this part off. I'm just gonna do a small little triangle piece here. I'll put that back, just want to use that so I can twist that down into the ground. Okay, now that we have our piece where we're going to put it taken out, uh, we know we're going to put the hole right here. We're going to move the trampoline so we can twist this into the ground easier. So let's move the trampoline to the side, then we'll push this, we'll screw this down. All right, I have this piece of rebar that I'm going to use just to give me a little more leverage here. But now let's twist this in the ground, trying to keep this vertical as I go. Make sure you know where your sprinkler pipes are so you don't accidentally hit a sprinkler pipe. I want to go down farther because I don't want this to get hit by the lawnmower blade, right? Okay, that's as far as that bar will go. We'll try and twist it now a little bit more. There we go. So now we're level with the dirt. The lawnmower blade will not hit that. We're just going to put this back in there after we put our chain through. Pause it. Okay, I have one foot of stainless steel chain, and this thing's rated for like five or six hundred pounds of working load. So I'll just loop it through there underneath, and then I'm going to open up my quick link. quick link is going to attach through here. And then now we'll just put the trampoline back where it needs to be and then we'll put it in there. So give me a second. Okay, that's where I'm going to put it. You can see that it's really close. 
set it in there, close the quick link. I chose to use a stainless steel quick link so it doesn't rust, so this is easy to, to loosen or tighten. And then now we just have the last little piece of dirt to, to put back in here. So let's just shove this down and around. There we go. So we have one foot of chain was definitely enough. All right, the way I designed this is if the trampoline lifts off the ground in the wind, it's only gonna be able to lift a few inches. It's not gonna lift very far. I did not strap this down to the ground. So the original use, I think, of the one that I bought, the stake, was to leave that triangle part above the ground and then get a strap and go from here and strap it down. I didn't like that because it's a lot of work to move the trampoline and it's another thing that's in the way. So I, I really like this simple design, $15 and you know, it's really sleek, it's not in the way, but it's gonna be secure and it's gonna secure the trampoline and you know, potentially prevent a lot of damage to your house, your neighbor's yard, or your fence in the event of a big storm. I hope you've appreciated the video. I hope you've liked it. Stay tuned because the next video I'm going to do is how to create a homemade ladder for a trampoline.